So we're going to start doing something a little different uh, when we don't aren't able to game and whatnot. We'll just do like little mini podcast type talk things. Uh, there should be a game playing on in the background in case you would just want to look at that or it's, so it's not just black. But uh, we were talking earlier today about food and uh, whatnot. And what happened was is we were at, the other day we were, me and my family was at Taco Bell. And sometimes you know how like when you buy food, you'll ask for certain things off. And sometimes you might ask for other things extra on there. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, we ordered, uh, my mom usually gets like chalupa with cheese on there and they charged her for it. Which, you know, normally it's not a big deal or whatever. But when you sit down and think about it, it's like, what if you asked for, like, say, something off? Would they still charge you extra? Or would they just not charge you at all? Like, what would you think? Like, how, how do you think you should go about that? Right. And the answer I gave to Ryan was... Uh, knowing them, they want to get the most money out of it. So even though it's you're getting less stuff, they're still gonna charge you for the base price so they get the most like money that they can out of it. But you'd really think that they should be like lenient, like yeah. work with it, because like you're asking for like less food on it. Because remember, like, what was it, two, three years ago about the whole, like, subway suing thing? Right. How it was an inch off, which I'm still wondering about that. Like, when it was an inch off, did they ask for it toasted? Because think about it. If you toast it, it does shrink. Yeah. I doubt they asked for it toasted. Okay, because that's, that's been kind of bothering me for a while. I just rethinking right. about that. But it's, even then, I'm sure they also went back into it and looked at the breads. Other than that, just... And just, just that, that instance. But yeah, with the whole like food thing, when you order and ask more to get off or on or, you know, I mean, if you order, say, a certain item and it costs like two, three bucks, okay, and you ask for two items off, say you don't like tomatoes and sour cream, you ask those off, you're still paying for the full price and then extra if you want guacamole or whatever on it. So, I mean, you're kind of losing out. So, right. The- in a sense, you're still getting charged for the same thing, just with not as much on it. And there, there's like counter look, like other sides of the store. If you look at it, you can just be like, well, if you're so worried about the price, why not just don't eat there at all? But the price isn't what uh, is the main thing. Like it's not like you can't afford to pay for that. I mean, it's Taco Bell. Yeah, it's it's not that expensive. It's just. The morality, uh, I don't or the know. moral as- aspects of it. Yeah, I, guess. I mean, it's like, would you charge somebody? Let, let's look at it at um, in the way of say a restaurant. If you were at a restaurant and you ordered your food, say you got a hamburger and it came out cold, well, the place would you know either take it off the bill or make a new one or whatever, right? Right. Well, I mean. If you ask for something that on it and it comes with it, they kind of messed up. But usually it's like if you ask, for, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, it. You brought up a good point when you brought that up. I never really thought about it too much. Uh, it's just one of those things where you stay up late at night and you can't sleep. <laughs> oh, oh, gotcha. So you may have smoked a little some some got your th- your brain it going no oh okay no you know me buddy <laughs> no it's too much drinking that's it i got your brain going yeah 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 that, that's uh brain juice right there like, uh, yep it's like you can't you can't go wrong with it <laughs> you can't but uh you know i'm just curious what some of you get people think so uh let us know like do you think it's okay do you think it's not i mean whichever way you want to go about it yeah, when we're talking about these, we're not like for it or against it. Like we, we Give keep our we keep our opinions out of it as best we can, uh, and we we'll try and play both sides, see the pros and cons against it. So it it'll be interesting to hear your guys's um, opinions. It's just to give you a little something to think about. Yeah, it's for all the people who like to debate. Yeah. 
And just make it fun. You don't even really have to argue or anything. Just share your opinion. If someone has a different opinion, well, that's all right. That's their opinion. I'm, I'm pretty sure most people just come down. It's like business is just business. Yeah. But you got to have a business aspect or outlook on it. Yeah. But um, besides that, um, there was a cafe near our place not too far down the road that we think we might try to head up to sometime. Uh, what, what was it called? Uh, to be honest, I don't remember. We just Frank's Cup and Joe or something like that? Something like that. Let's see if it's up on uh, the intro net. Uh, I thought you were going to say the good old Yelp. Oh, well, I mean that too. Because I'll be honest, I don't think I saw it there a couple days ago. I exited out of it. Uh, All right, where is our... Uh, but, um, I mean, it, it, it could just be just a regular, like, Cup of Joe place. Yeah, I don't see it. Let's see on Google. It might have just came out, like I said, so it might not be there. Uh, I literally thought I said Drunken Donuts. What did you say, Frank's Cup and Joe? Something like that. I don't know if it was Frank's or Frankie or... I don't know what it was. Frank and Joe's coffee. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look at uh, I'll look at it on my way back to the house, and uh, I'll send you a text, and he'll add it into the description or something yeah. at the bottom of what it's called. But uh, it's basically just your what looks like mom and pop diner kind of aspect where you just go get breakfast, maybe. A cup of coffee. Well, that's the thing, because, like, not that far away, there's another place. That's kind of Sunrise. Like, yeah. Or uh, that yellow building right there, it's like, what, maybe, like, oh, two miles walking distance? Or yeah. Not two miles, two, like, minutes walking distance as soon as you get out my subdivision. Yeah. Um, but there's that. I mean, it might just be your regular thing. But the place it's located, though, it usually... It's not that it doesn't get business. Yeah. It's usually nothing in that one spot sticks around. Right. Because there was one that was like their little rascals, like uh, uh, something Falfa, the guy that had the... Alfalfa? Thank you. There was a place that was called the Little Rascals like that, and they probably only stuck around for like two months before... Skin wow. Allen. Yeah. And then before that, there was another one that wasn't even like... I'd never seen had any business before that one. So it's probably just a new upcoming business that may want to see how they do. I mean, the area we're at, most people probably won't see it. But then again, you never know where people who watch this or people right. that subscribe are from. Um, but, I mean, I'll put the name probably in the video or down right. below for you to see it. You can look it up if you know the area. Yeah. See, I'm not going to give out the address because, you know. Right, like, like who? Basically, give you the name of the shop and then you can do your research from there. Yeah. But, uh. Other than that, got anything that happened this week? This week? Well, obviously, yes, I've had a lot going on this week. <laughs> but if you want to stay on topic of food wise. Let's go food wise. Okay. Because um, this is kind of like a food subject thing yeah. going on. That's why I was like, let's make it a little bit more specific on something that happened this week. Sorry, I thought we were like doing the whole food thing. No, no, we are. Um, I actually, what's today? Friday? Two days ago, had uh, dinner with my uh, mother, -in mother in law and father in law and my wife over at their house. Um, and they were barbecuing, her parents. And uh, we had steaks. Really, I can't remember what kind of steaks they were. But they were nice. Big, juicy steaks. Like He made them to perfection. We also had these che mushrooms with cheese and bacon bits. Inside the cooked mushrooms or grilled mushrooms. What, what, how big were the mushrooms? Were they like so, shikake, which are like the huge? No, ones? no, no, no. It's like a golf ball size mushroom. Uh, porter porterbells? It might be a porterbell. I'm not I, too sure. Yeah, I, I can't remember. I don't that. really know the names of them, but it was about the size of a golf ball. Fantastic. Probably one of the best mushrooms I've had in a while. 
actually sounds pretty good. Yeah. Now, I'm not a fan of mushrooms. Like, I'll eat it a little bit if there's a little bit on a burger or something. Right. But, like... Yeah, and then on top of that, you, obviously, you got your, like, salads, your bread. Yeah. And all your other sides, but uh, those mushrooms, like, I love mushrooms, and that just made my night right there, oh, eating those. I mean, it sounds good for me. Well, especially with that incident that happened a few days ago. Right. <laughs> Which, and who <laughs> boy! And it was just one of those days where the weather was nice, so you could sit outside while the sun sets and just... Oh, cook the food and hang out, talk, have a drink. So it was a good good dinner night that night. And then yesterday I actually took my grandmother out for her birthday. Took her out to Red Lobster. And you can never go wrong with her biscuits. Oh, yeah. Or Cheddar Bay biscuits. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, those are so good. Uh, comment in the comment section on whether or not you'd like their biscuits or not, because I... If you, if, if you don't, whose biscuits do you think are better? Right. Or even if you do like them and you think someone else's is better, whose biscuits are better yeah, than that? Like, I'm, I'm curious. I'll, I'll give the place a shot if their like, biscuits are better. I think, besides homemade, you can't beat homemade biscuits if they're done right. Yeah. Uh, those are probably by far the best biscuits like that are served to you without you having to make. In my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, that just the thought of that sounds so good. Especially since I haven't been really able to eat the last three days. Right. Uh, and the reason why I wasn't able to eat the last three days is because one of my food uh, things that happened this week was I decided to buy some beef jerky. And I don't know what happened because that was like the only thing I ate that day. And I know, not a good idea to eat just beef jerky, but you know what? It was a long day. I didn't have time to really eat, so I needed something to kind of, like, keep me going. By, uh, later that night, my, uh, stomach was kind of, like, rumbling, and I go in, and let's just say, for about four hours, I could not leave the bathroom. Yeah. And, uh, the next day, oh boy, I was, I was so dehydrated, I... Let's just say, normally I get four hours of sleep a day. I can work with that. I uh, was awake for about six hours the next day. So, uh, let's just say I'm not going to trust some beef jerky for a while anymore. <laughs> right. So, no more going to St. Charles and their beef jerky store. No, 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 no. That place, that place I was okay with. Okay? It was like a gas station that was across from my work that I got. Right. And... The name brand was a good brand. I'm not going to say because I don't want to bash them. Package looked different, but I don't know if it was that or what. But something didn't agree with me, and I felt like I ate a blender. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my stomach is like. Right. So the, I, I think I literally weighed myself like before that thing happened, and then after that thing I think I literally lost eight pounds because of how much stuff just went through my body. I, I can believe it. Like... There's just times when your body does not accept something, and it's just like, no, no yeah. get out of here with that. We're not going to have that. But uh, other than that, I, you folks at home probably don't know this, but most of my friends do. I like to cook. I'll try different things. And I made buffalo chicken mozzarella sticks. Which sound amazing, by the way. I still have some. Well, they're more balls now because something happened. Like, there wasn't staying hard enough for some of them right and so it was like kind of melting quickly and i didn't have enough time because it's the middle of summer so they were kind of melting quick right and falling apart so i kind of turned into balls um but if you're curious about what it is pretty much like i said buffalo uh it's buffalo sauce chicken uh cheddar cheese another type of cheese uh i'll tell you what in the description down below i will uh Put the recipe for if you guys want to try it at home. And for also, you people who may be like me, you can take said recipe and give it to your wife, girlfriend, mother, sister, grandmother, whoever, father, brother, who can cook and have them cook it for you. Yeah, he, that, that's even better. It's not that I can't cook. It's that he's not a good cook. 
Yes. I limited myself to where I know exactly how to cook the meals that I want and like. Are, and you, I, say, are you saying you don't want or like chicken and dumplings? I will say that I will like them, but not enough to cook them. Okay. And that will probably be a story for another time. Because... <laughs> I'll eat just about it. I'll try anything, like, food-related, like, at least once. And, uh, from then on, if I truly, like, pasta, for instance. I love, I'll eat pasta every single day of my entire life. Are you sure you're not Italian? <laughs> I don't know. I gotta check my background, <laughs> apparently. But, I made sure I learned how to cook that. That's one. But if it's anything else that I'm like, oh, yeah, that's good, but it's not the best, I won't worry about learning how to cook it. So for all you people like that, he'll have the recipe for you so you can ask someone who does know how to cook very well to make it. Yeah, I will experiment with a lot of foods, too. I won't lie. But, um, you know, I think we're going to wrap it up for here. Got some food talk going on. Uh, if there's anything you guys want us to talk about, just in the description, Twitter, uh, just at me with it. Uh, my link will be down below. And uh, for all you people who do know how to cook, if there's a recipe that you want him to try and make, send it to him as well. And I'll tell you what, I'll even try to record myself doing it if uh, Jimmy wants to try to give me a hand. Yeah. Just want to record while I do it. Yeah. So, um, just... Let me know the ingredients. Please don't be in the, what is it, metric system? Like the milliliters and stuff. Please make it like cups, teaspoons, because... I was going to say, you're I, talking I to the why, wrong person. I, know, I, don't, I don't know why I was asking you that. But uh, please at least try to give it to me in like pounds or teaspoons, tails, stuff like that. Don't be like milliliter or liter or like yeah. stuff like that. Because that's going to take some time to try to convert it. Not that it's hard. It's just kind of tedious because sometimes I forget to write it down. Um, but yeah, uh, get anything you want me to try, I'll give it a shot, so long as it's nothing like huge, like rattlesnake or anything like that. Yeah, obviously try and make it to where it won't cost too much of an arm and a leg. But, but also uh, won't kill us if, you know, something goes horribly wrong. Yeah, we're not afraid to pitch in uh, a decent amount of money to make this ingredients and buy it and make it, as long as it's nothing like... Where we had to go so far just to find it. Yeah, like we, or like, you know, like, oh, I don't want to go out and try to, like, you know, remove the poison sack of a puffer fish because I am not trained for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have to drive three hours just to find a store that sells one certain ingredient. Yeah. Kind of thing. But um, other than that, as always, keep on gaming. <laughs>